him about the first restaurant he gonna take you to. What's the last restaurant your daddy took you to? Because you shouldn't be coming to him to be your daddy. That's not his role. It's a first date. I want y'all to bring that down to level three. Y'all weigh on 10 with this foolishness and want to embarrass somebody. My second question is, have you ever been anywhere? Where do you take yourself? Let me see your, your checkbook registry. Hey fam, welcome back to my channel. How you all doing? So today we will be talking about this video that was made by a certain boy's mom. She came online to call out the ladies that the son took out on a date and she was like, they should stop using her son for free food. Uh, and from what she said, it seems as though those ladies asked the son to take them to um, an expensive restaurant and the lady came to speak for the son, which is weird. I'm like, can the son talk? Anyways, so I'm just going to play that video and also um, people's reaction and I'll come back for us to talk about it. Let's get started. And him about the first restaurant he gonna take you to what's the last restaurant your daddy took you to because you shouldn't be coming to him to be your daddy that's not his role it's a first date i want y'all to bring that down to level three y'all weigh on 10 with this foolishness and want to embarrass somebody my second question is have you ever been anywhere where do you take yourself let me see your your checkbook registry let me log into your bank account and see what you feed yourself on a regular basis. Where do you take yourself for lunch or dinner? That's the next question I want you to answer. And then the third thing about this, uh, yeah, come on back over here because I need okay. you to understand okay. what time it is. Right. A real lady, a lady is going to be there for the purpose of what it's for. She's not looking for food because she hungry that she can't afford so she can take it to go and get a doggy bag. I'm going to wrap this up to go. Why? You ain't going to have food tomorrow? That's a poverty mindset. So a first date, again, mm -hmm. is to get to know the person, Correct. to hang out, have fun. Y'all should be laughing and talking. It don't need to be a steakhouse. We don't even know if you work a steak. You might just be worth a piece of bread. So ladies, Young ladies, grow up. Get some maturity about yourself. Y'all buying titties, lashes, booties, and everything else. And you want somebody else to feed you. Save your money. Stop buying your body and put it to the side so you can have some, some, some food. That's not a man's responsibility. Now, once you dating a man, and once he gets to know you, and y'all vibing, and he want to take you to a nice restaurant, guess what that means? You well deserving of that. He think enough about you to make a reservation. But some of you don't have reservations about your mouth. You talk bad. You disrespectful. You ghetto. You trifling. You don't have an income that substantiates what you want this man to do. You don't reserve being lazy. You full out lazy. You have no reservations on that. But you want, he, well, you want the men to make a reservation for a restaurant, but you don't reserve what's between your legs. You passing it out oh, like candy. Oh, oh, You rated E for everybody. Oh, my. All right. All right. <laughs> Thank God to this mother. She's 100% right. I mean, my Lord. Like, she just said a word. You, you got guys who've been playing these games, materialism and short-termism and ghettoism and, you know, trying to get over. But now, the women are doing it. And there's all the stuff I can't say. <laughs> some women, some should be ashamed of themselves. Um, it's not the way you were raised. It's not the values you were given. And you're better than this. And this mother is like saying, basically, I want to be your mother. She's saying, let me be your mom, because clearly you don't have one. Let me be your role model. Clearly you don't have one. Let me give you, tell you the way the world is. She's not talking down to him. She's talking up to him. She's telling him to step up. Step over mess, not in it. She's telling them to live to their potential. To live up to their potential. She's encouraging them to be the best version of themselves. So that they deserve a young man taking them out to dinner. But people will often ask for something. They're not doing themselves. They demand something. They, want, they don't want to work. They want somebody else to work for them. They don't want to, they want to earn something. They want somebody to give them something. And a lot of what's going on today is transaction. It's about economics. It's about what you can get. 
call it somebody else to get, to get over, to get paid, <laughs> to, get, to get a paycheck. I'm so tired of these folks just trying to pimp somebody else because they're just too lazy to go do it themselves. They, they've not been successful. They want somebody else to succeed for them. They, in, a, in a sense of entitlement that they are deserving of it. I'll tell you what, you, you're going to win the battle and lose the war. Like, the world's going to pass you by, you'll have a moment, and that's all you're going to have. Uh, but real substance lives on forever. And this woman, this mother, is is is, is pouring her. She's not angry at, at these young girls. She loves them, and she's trying to give them the same values that she was given. She's also informing her son to not step down, but to step up. Marion Williamson, I believe, uh, poem of don't make yourself small so other people won't feel intimidated around you, right? And let your light shine so it may illuminate and be a light for others. I'm paraphrasing, but that's basically it. Look up the poem. All right, love and light. And when you're ready to change your life in accordance with your new value set, come to Operation Hope, and we will put you on a path of personal freedom. Um, so you have agency in your life. Raise your credit score, lower your debt, increase your savings, make you bankable so you can go and do for yourself. Buy your own dinner. <laughs> restaurant he gonna take you to what's the last restaurant your daddy took you to because you shouldn't be coming to him to be your daddy that's not his role it's a first date my second question is have you ever been anywhere where do you take yourself let me see your your checkbook registry let me log into your bank account and see what you feed yourself a lady is gonna be there for the purpose of what is for she's not looking for food because she hungry that she can't afford so she can take it to go and get a doggy bag. I'm going to wrap this up to go. Why? You ain't going to have food tomorrow? It don't need to be a steakhouse. We don't even know if you work a steak. So, ma'am, you don't have to check her checkbook registry, but you can check her Instagram. And I'm sure he did before he slid into her DMs. She was already taking herself to Nobu. She was already buying mimosa towers. She was already doing brunch every weekend with her girls. She was already taking trips. Your son could easily pick a, a woman who would be fine with coffee dates, fine with ice cream dates, walks in the park, Netflix and chill, her coming over to cook for him on a first date. But he doesn't want those women. He wants the women whose standards are higher. It's not every woman's job to make it easier for for your son this is not a good look it's not a good look having your mommy jump on the internet and tell women to lower their standards so that they could give you a chance she's on the internet telling women to lower their standards you better tell your son to lower his because there are plenty of women who he, he could get with but he wants the baddies the, the women who already look high maintenance she already taking care of herself the men always want to be the exception to the rule everybody else who's ever dated her has taken care of her but your son wants to come in there and be like i don't want to take care of you but i love you though she might say that's not good enough and that's her that's her business there is a pot for every lid. Your son can easily find his match, but your son is trying to take in that offer. If your son keeps going out on dates with women who use him for a free meal, his picker is broken. He's not, he needs to choose better. He needs to vet these women properly before taking them out on actual dates. Talk to them on the phone. Talk to them via FaceTime. If he keeps getting used for a free meal, he's the problem. Your son has to date in his price range. He can't afford every woman. There are some women whose standards require that a man provide for them. They're all he has to do is find a woman whose standards he meets. But he doesn't want to do that. He'd rather tell the women to lower their standards so that he can finally qualify. No, ma'am. Then he's going to say, we don't even know if she's worth a stake. Who is we? Like, is the boy paying for the, the dates with your money? Because then I can understand why you mad. <laughs> okay guys let's talk about it let's talk about it i have another video coming up but let's talk about it huh. what do you think about those ladies that go out on the first date and they order a lot of things they want to eat down the whole restaurant what do you think about that before there used to be a trend in nigeria those days where a lady is going out on the first date with a guy and then you have this lady invite other friends just to come and eat the guy's mo money for me i'm against that that doesn't make sense if you don't like the guy there's no point bringing a tribe to come eat the guy's money like it doesn't make sense some women on the first date they would demand to go to a very expensive restaurant order expensive meal and also ask for takeout yeah some people are like that and then those women not all of them but a lot of them when you take a closer look at them they can't even afford all that stuff themselves.
in my actions i try to be reasonable and human and i try to put myself in people's shoes for me here yeah, is the first date it's not necessary it's not needed for the guy i think he should cut his coat according, according to his material some ladies are already high maintenance that's the way they are some women are earning in um millions so you 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 don't expect someone that earn in millions and six figures to go to a certain restaurant so if you don't have that amount of money to meet up with her status the kind of person she is then why ask her out it's just like a lady being used to eating in a five-star restaurant that's what she's used to she 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 goes there for her lunch she goes there to hang out with her friends and all that and you're asking her out and you're planning to take her to a book her a local restaurant she might not appreciate it why don't you look for ladies that would appreciate lo local restaurants ladies that are within you your reach ladies that are within your budget why don't you ask for ladies like that but if you want ladies that are way above your league level up hustle better equip yourself better add more value to your life make more money the ma the boy should date people that are in his level women he can afford why try reaching for what you cannot you, you you can't get why why should you tell someone to lower their standard because you want to date them if their standard is way above you it's obvious you're not for them they're not for you go for people that are within your level just to make life easier for you but if you want someone above your level level up yourself so let's hear what the next speaker has to say what i'm about to say does not come from a place of misandry because i know some of y'all genuinely hate men and you know that's between you and god what i'm about to share is a genuine observation okay I believe that men would genuinely be happier if they went after women on their level. This is not me coming from a place of ego and just thinking that I'm so fucking amazing. This is a real life fucking observation. Men would be happier if they went after the girl that is aligned with what they are willing to offer. It just is what it is. But they want to go after girls that have stuff going for themselves. Girls that have standards. I'm not even trying to be like that. But girls that have hopes and dreams. Some guys should stay away from women that are ambitious. And go for the girl that all she want to do is have a man and be a mom or be a housewife. Why are you going after a bitch that, wanna, that wants to run a Fortune 500 company one day? Or a bitch that wants to be an astronaut? Or like, why are you going after somebody that their life is not going to be centered around you if you know that that's what you need, bro? If you're not on a level where it's like you want to run with the big dogs, like why date a girl that wants to start a business if you know you don't want to start a business, you know you're not ambitious. Why bring her down, bro? Why have petty ass arguments for no reason? Why feel emasculated every fucking moment of your life? Go be with a bitch that like bums. I mean, I'm not even trying to come off like that, but for real, there is a lid for every single pot. And you trying to force yourself into this girl's reality when y'all are just not aligned, bro. You're the loser in that dynamic. Go date somebody that does not go be with somebody that's not aware that you're a fucking loser. Like there's so many people that just excuse me. There's so many women that just want a man. They want to go after the bitches. That's cool being by themselves. That's what I don't understand. And then that's what makes me believe that you're on assignment by the fucking enemy. Because if you know we're not equally yoked, what the fuck you even over here for, bro? Stop looking for women that are not in your level. Every level has a woman. Chica, if you're on level one, they have women in that level. Level two, level three, level five, just like that. Stop being on level one and looking to be with a woman that is on level five. You need to level up to level five before that can happen. 
that's how life is stop asking for what you cannot afford and then you bring your mom online to talk about it it's embarrassing having your mom speak for you what happened to your mouth you don't have a voice are you now a mommy's boy so you go on a date then you come back you give report to your mom you tell your mom oh this was what happened she was demanded for an expensive restaurant we went there and she asked for an extra meal to take home how does that make you look obviously like a child that the mom is controlling i get the point the mom is making yes yeah? some women are like that they just want to eat you down just like that they might not even like you but let's ask the guy the lady he went out with was she looking like a slave queen was she looking like high main maintenance because you cannot take a high maintenance lady out and you're expecting her to act differently it would be shocking if the lady wasn't high maintenance maybe she's just very simple and maybe looking very churchy i'm not trying to put church people in a box you know looking very simple and not expensive and then you then when you guys went out she was asking for expensive things then fine that's gonna be a shocker that's gonna be surprising but if that's not the case please don't come online disturbing the peace of the people online do with your problem within your family and stop disturbing us because this is not necessary just date within your limit within your level chicken huh anyways guys this is all i have to say let me know your thoughts in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and bye